Welcome to Paws and Perform, where we train dogs effectively and lovingly. Today we'll learn about teaching dogs to wait for meals. It's not just a trick, but a way to instill patience, obedience, and respect, making mealtimes enjoyable for everyone. Let's dive into a world of patient pooches and well-mannered mealtimes. First things first, why is it important to teach your dog to wait for meals? Well, there are several key reasons. For starters, it fosters patience. Dogs, like humans, need to understand that good things come to those who wait. This lesson can be applied in many areas of their lives, not just mealtime. Teaching your dog to wait for meals also helps with impulse control. It's a simple way to help your dog understand that they can't always get what they want right when they want it. This is a crucial lesson, particularly for dogs who get overly excited or anxious. Finally, it's about safety. A dog that rushes to eat can end up choking or getting into fights with other pets over food. By teaching them to wait, you're helping ensure they remain safe during meals. So, as you can see, it's not just about good manners, it's about raising a well-rounded, well-behaved dog. Now that we understand the why, let's move on to the how. Teaching your dog to wait for meals is a process that can be broken down into manageable steps. It's all about introducing the command, using a reward system, and gradually increasing the waiting time. Let's dive in. Step one, introduce the command. You'll want to start teaching this command during mealtimes. Fill your dog's bowl with food and hold it at a level your dog can't reach. As you're doing this, use the command wait. Your dog may not understand what this means at first, but don't worry, repetition is key. Step two, reward your dog. Once you've given the command, lower the bowl a little. If your dog stays still and does not lunge for the food, immediately reward them with a small treat and lots of praise. If your dog moves, raise the bowl back up and repeat the command. Step 3. Gradually increase the waiting time. Start by having your dog wait for just a few seconds before you give them their meal. Over time, gradually increase this waiting period. It might be 5 seconds at first, then 10, then 20. The goal is to build up to a point where your dog can wait patiently for their meal without needing a command. This process may take some time and that's okay. Remember, patience is key. Dogs learn at their own pace and rushing the process will only lead to frustration for both you and your pet. Ensure to always use a calm and positive tone when giving the command. Dogs are very perceptive and can pick up on our emotions. If you're frustrated or angry, they'll sense it. Keeping a positive tone encourages them to obey and makes the learning process more enjoyable. And finally, be consistent. Consistency is key when training your dog. Make sure to use the same command and reward system every time. This will help your dog understand what you expect and make the learning process much smoother. Remember, consistency is key. With time and practice, your dog will understand what you expect. While the process may sound straightforward, every dog is unique. Here are some tips and tricks to make the process smoother. First of all, start with short waiting times. It's important to set your dog up for success, and asking them to wait for long periods right off the bat might be too challenging. Begin with just a few seconds. Gradually increase the waiting time as your dog gets more comfortable with the task. Next, consider using high-value rewards. Not all treats are created equal in the eyes of your dog. Find out what your dog loves the most. It could be a special kind of treat, a favorite toy, or even a few minutes of playtime. Use these high-value rewards to motivate your dog during training sessions. Remember, the goal is not just to teach your dog to wait, but to make them excited about doing so. Additionally, keep training sessions short and fun. Training shouldn't be a chore for you or your dog. Aim for sessions that last around five minutes each. Short frequent training periods are more effective than long infrequent ones. The key here is consistency. Also, make sure to end each session on a positive note. If your dog is struggling with a particular task, switch to something easier and end the session with success and lots of praise. Moreover, always be patient. Training takes time, and every dog learns at their own pace. Don't get frustrated if your dog doesn't catch on right away. Keep your training sessions positive and upbeat. This will help your dog associate training with positive experiences, making them more likely to engage and learn. Finally, remember to celebrate small victories. Every time your dog waits for their meal, even if it's just for a few seconds, reward them and make a big fuss. This will reinforce the behavior and encourage them to keep doing it. Remember, patience and positivity go a long way in dog training. Celebrate small victories and keep sessions enjoyable for both you and your furry friend. And there you have it, an easy and effective way to teach your dog to wait for meals. 
We've walked through the importance of this training, how it fosters discipline and patience in your furry friend, and the step-by-step -step process to get you started. Remember, it's all about consistency. Keep those mealtimes regular and use the wait command consistently. We also delved into some handy tips and tricks to make this process smoother. Positive reinforcement is key here. Reward your dog's good behavior with praise, treats, or a good belly rub. This not only makes the training more enjoyable for your dog, but it also strengthens your bond. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow dog owners, and subscribe to Paws and perform for more dog training tips and tricks. Remember, training your dog is not just about obedience, it's about building a strong and loving bond. Happy training!